Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will solve problem on contract costing. That is preparing the contract account. We have already discussed the format of contract account. If you want that video, click on the link given in the description box. Okay, let's start the problem on contract costing. Problem number one. You are required to prepare contract account showing the profit on the contract for the year ending 30th April 2017. Contract price 1 lakh. Materials sent to site 32,250. Labor engaged on site 27,400. Plant installed at site 5,650. Work certified 71,500. Cash received from contractor 65,000. Value of plant as on 30th April 2017, 4,100. Cost of work done but not certified, 1,700. Direct expenditure, 1,200. Cost of establishment, 1,625. Wages outstanding, 900. Material on hand, 700. Direct expenses outstanding 100, material return to store 200. So certain information they have given and we have to prepare the contract account to find out the profit. Let's start the solution. Heading contract account for the year ending 30th April 2017. Debit, credit and the column particulars rupees particular rupees see the problem first item is contract price this item we will not take in the contract account because when work is completed or contract is completed then only we take this contract price under the head contracting account but this contract is incomplete because in this problem work certified and work uncertified amount is given. So this contract price we will not take in the contract account. So leave this item and move to next item. That is material sent to site. That is 32,250. Write on the debit side. Two material sent to site 32,250. Labor engaged on site 27,400. Debit side write to labor 27,400. Write in inner column because outstanding wages is there. See this one. Wages outstanding 900. So it is to be added. Add outstanding 900 and total of these two 28,000. 300. Next is plant installed at site. Amount is 5650. Writing the debit side to plant. Work certified. So this item will come under working progress in credit side. So credit side we have to write by work in progress in that work certified. 71,500. Cash received from contractor. This one we will take to calculate the amount of profit and not in the contract account. Then value of plant as on 30th 4, 2017. This is the closing value of plant. This one we will take on the credit side. By closing plant. Amount is 4100. Next is cost of work done but not certified. So the work is done but it is not certified. So this one considered as work uncertified. Okay, this work is considered as work uncertified and it is to be taken under the head work in progress. So in work in progress, work certified we have already taken. 
that is 71,500. Now we have to take work uncertified. The amount is 1,700. And total of these two, 71,500 plus 1,700. And the total is 73,200. Next is direct expenditure. It is to be debited to direct expenditure. Write in inner column 1,200 because outstanding direct expenses is given. Direct expenses outstanding. Add outstanding amount is 100. Add these two 1,200 plus 100 you will get 1,300. Next, cost of establishment. It is to be debited. Two, cost of establishment amount is 1,625. Wages outstanding taken. Then, material on hand. It is to be credited. Right credit side. Buy material on hand amount is 700. Direct expenses outstanding over and the last is material return to store. It is to be credited by material return to store amount is 200. So all the items are over. So now we have to calculate the debit side and credit side and we have to see which side will get the more amount. So first calculate this credit side. 73,200 plus 44,100 plus 700 plus 200. And the total of these four amount is 78,200. Calculate debit side. 32,250 plus 28,300 plus 5,650 plus 1,300. Plus 1,625. Don't take take this 9,075. Okay, just take these five amount. And the total of these five amount is 69,125. So which side you will get the more amount? Credit side. So we will take this balance 278,200. 78, so right here total. 78,200 and same amount we will side on the same amount we will write on the debit side that is 78,200 and from this 78,200 minus this 69,125 or minus these amount 32,250 28,300 5,650 1,300 and 1,625 and you will get 9,075 understood from 78,200 minus 69,125 you will get difference amount 9,075 so this difference amount is called notional profit to notional profit 9,075 if you get the difference amount on the debit side, it is called notional profit. And if you get the difference amount in the credit side, it will be called notional loss. So in this problem, we have got notional profit that is 9,075. And this notional profit is transferred to profit and loss account and reserve. So as you know, there are four conditions are there. And on the basis of that, on the basis of work certified and contract price, we have to calculate the amount of profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. So the contract price is how much? One lakh. Correct. And the work certified amount is 71,500. So these two items are very important because on the basis of these two items we, we will calculate the amount of profit 
to be transferred to profit and loss account. So the first condition is if the work certified amount is less than one fourth of contract price, no amount is transferred to profit and loss account. So we will calculate the one fourth of contract price. One lakh into one fourth. How much you will get? Twenty five. So one fourth of contract price is twenty five thousand, and work certified amount is how much seventy one thousand five hundred. Means the work certified amount is not less than one fourth of con one fourth of contract price. So first condition is not applied here. Second condition is if the work certified is more than one fourth but less than half. In such cases. One third of notional profit is transferred to profit and loss account. So we will calculate the half of the contract price. One lakh into half. So the half the contract price is fifty thousand. So the uh, half of contract price is fifty thousand, and work certified amount is seventy one thousand five hundred. So second condition is also not applied because the work certified amount is more than half. Second condition, what it says that the work certified amount should be more than one fourth but less than half. So third condition is if the work certified amount is more than half but less than three fourth of contract price. So we'll calculate the three fourth of contract price. One lakh into three fourth, you will get seventy five thousand. So the third condition is, if the work certified amount is more than half but less than one fourth of contract price, sorry, less than three fourth of contract price. So our work certified amount is more than half of the contract price, yes, fifty thousand more than this fifty thousand, but it is less than. Three fourth of the contract price. Three fourth of the contract price. You will get seventy five thousand. So seventy one thousand five hundred is less than three fourth of contract price. So in this problem, third condition is applied. So third condition in that, what we have to do? We have to calculate or we have to transfer the two third of notional profit. So the formula is note. Calculation of profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. So we'll take the third condition. Third condition formula: profit and loss account is equal to two third of notional profit into cash received divided by work certified. Understood? Why I have taken this two third? Because the work certified amount is more than half, but it is less than. The fourth of contract price. In such cases, two third of notional profit is transferred to profit and loss account. So same two third we will write here, and the notional profit just we have got to this one nine thousand seventy five cash received. See the problem: cash received from contractor. Cash received from contractor is sixty five. Thousand. Take this sixty-five thousand. Work certified. Work certified amount is seventy-one thousand five hundred. Sixty-five thousand divided by seventy-one thousand five hundred. So first calculate this one. Nine thousand seventy-five into two third. You will get six thousand fifty. And multiply this six thousand fifty with sixty five thousand divided by seventy one thousand five hundred, and you will get five thousand five hundred. So this five thousand five hundred is transferred to profit and loss account. So the notional profit is nine thousand seventy five. From this nine thousand seventy five. To profit and loss account, we will transfer five thousand five hundred and remaining amount to reserve. So remaining how much you will get? Three thousand five hundred. 
3575. So this 3575 is transferred to reserve. So same this 9075 is brought down by notional profit brought down 9075. Same we will write here and here debit side to profit and loss account 5500. Just we have calculated to reserve the remaining amount of the notional profit 3575 and the total of these two 9075. So both said to get the same amount. Clear this problem? Hope you got this problem. In my next video, we will solve one more problem on this contract account. Thank you friends.